Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Coy, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? We're looking at a Sony Pictures Entertainment trailer. This is Bullet Train, uh, starring Brad Pitt. You guys, Ooh. if you haven't already, uh, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Otherwise, Mickey will punch you. That's a deep, deep reference. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's jump into this. Okay. Okay. He's digging the music. Oh, okay. Hi. There's a gun on Run. It's the quiet car. Can't use your small inside voice in here, son. There's a gun. God. <laughs> Why are there no Japanese people in the train? I just think it's hilarious that they were trying so hard to adhere to the rules of yeah. the train. I am ready. You are getting the new and improved me. Because if you put peace out in the world, you get peace back. I think you might be forgetting what you do for a living. Take the gun. Every job I do, somebody dies. I'm not that guy anymore. Some conflicts require a gun. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. I okay. love the way this looks. Hey, this is nice. Hey. <laughs> okay, what am I snatching and or grabbing? A briefcase. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. Doesn't get simpler. Uh -oh. oh, whoa. Like, full of killers? Shit. <laughs> It's like John Wick on a train, huh? I know, right? Yeah, but, with, <laughs> but with comedy. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought. I'm like, yeah, John Wick with comedy. When you are alive, the way you're in mind. Dude, I don't even know you. Hey. There's something simple about this job. Something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Lemon, hmm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. It was just there. We are right on schedule. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting, bitch! Oh, oh damn. Let you hear. Oh my god. <laughs> this is balls of the wall right. insane. That's a shit deal. <laughs> oh no, thank you. Do you have uh, <laughs> anything sparkling? <laughs> Don't worry, God. Go right back to fighting. <laughs> you sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. Yeah, I guess if... I were to sort of classify and compare it to other films. John Wick meets, uh, the, how, what's it called? Uh, saving the Assassin's Wife, whatever, with Sam Jackson and oh, Ryan yeah, Reynolds. Oh, yeah, the, the bodyguard, the bodyguard, hitman's, hitman's bodyguard. bodyguard. Yeah. Hitman's wife's bodyguard. That That's a comedy thing, sort of in the same genre, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a dark comedy, or uh, what's it called? Black humor, not black humor, it's dark humor. Yeah, well, you got it right. You said dark comedy. That works. Yeah, dark comedy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, it's so much fun. I'm super. I'm super into this vibe. What, what's going on here? I think aesthetically, it looks super cool as well. Like they're really leaning into that kind of neon vibe that you get. You know, when atomic you atomic blonde. Yeah, like atomic blonde, or like when you think of maybe like Harajuku in Japan, you think of that whole kind of like cool neon, cute, kawaii, like yeah. really fun. I, I like it aesthetically and then just the humor and the action and everything. I think Brad Pitt is really great in this type of thing. He's so funny. Yeah, he's really good at this. The only thing that's uh, kind of a slight put off is that it takes place in Japan, clearly. Yes. And you have one Japanese dude in the whole thing. I mean, it's Yakuza, right? Yeah. That's the idea. Who's in like nearly every movie. Yeah, it's, this, as, it's the go-to guy because Ken Watanabe's not available. Yeah. So they go to this dude. They go to that guy. He played, I think he played Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. I was just more like, we, why aren't there you're more in Japanese you're in people Jap on the train? Exactly, you're in Japan. I was just like, why is this whole train carriage just full of foreigners? I've never they're, well, they're all assassins. Well, That's yeah, the thing. but I mean, I've never been on a bullet train in Japan, but I would assume that there would be a lot of like Japanese people just hanging around. Maybe they were all booked out by the assassins yeah. for this particular trip. The way everything goes down in the hotel in John Wick, the action that we see in there is sort of what I'm the vibe I'm getting here. Except it's so funny. Yeah. You know, it's like it's it's harrowing, but it's also hilarious at the same time. Well, it's what you pointed out, right? It's the absurdity of the situation because they're so concerned with adhering to this arbitrary rule of this is the quiet yeah. train, so yeah. like shush. But also, you're having a full blown 
and fight. And so it's just kind of silly and absurd and, and funny. But I love the creativity with which, you know, they, they did that. I hate to keep bringing up John Wick, but I think the thing that uh, is also cool that was right from the beginning of the trailer is the unassuming aspect of the of that character? Because yeah. he's like he has the gun under the table, and you're like he doesn't look like anything, right? Did he even have a gun? It, it even looked like he wasn't holding a gun. I couldn't see the gun properly yeah. under there, so I thought, oh, is he just doing gun fingers? Fastos, <laughs> the actor who played Fastos, yeah, right? Yeah. So, and you know what? Yeah. You know, you're always going, oh, Brits are always stealing our roles, and I was like, hello, I see you doing, you know, a London accent there. Well, good for him. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> How do you like it, nice, London? Nice try. <laughs> How yeah. do you like it? Nice try. What was wrong with his accent? <laughs> it was fine. What was wrong with it? Accent Nazi? What was wrong with it? No, it was fine. I only heard a little bit of it, so I'd have to, you know, watch it in the movie, and then I would be able to properly assess. I was like, okay, like, I maybe it's because I know that he's American, so I was kind of listening. There's a gun. On. Shh, well, it's the quiet car. He did a pretty good job. I don't know. I was convinced. For a second, I was like, oh, he's British, and I didn't know that this whole time? <laughs> that was my thought. I didn't realize he was American. Well, anyway, yeah, I've been a longtime uh, Brad Pitt fan, especially since, you know, growing up, for me, the introduction into Cool Brad Pitt was Snatch. That's the reference I made earlier with Mickey, the character he played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny, because you mentioned that, like, oh, Mickey will come and punch you, and then immediately it starts off with, like, pow, 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 pow. After Snatch, um, which was my first introduction to him doing, like, a character role, mm -hmm. I started to see him do like all these different kinds of things he was challenging himself and yeah. even, even the most forgotten of roles like meet joe black i'm like oh i love brad pitt i think he's what? great how could you no forget? one talks about meet joe black nobody I talks love about that him. movie nobody talks about it but i liked him in that is what i'm ultimately driving at so and so cute. The yeah peanut butter. <laughs> what i'm seeing at a glance here i should have addressed this earlier what i'm seeing at a glance here that's pretty cool is the way the action design is and yes. i'm wondering who actually uh helped create this we are looking at the imdb no one in the top Eight is Asian here. There are a oh, bunch of there Asians. Are. There are a bunch of Asians in this movie, but they're like way down the list. It's very interesting. Very in interesting. In including Hero from Heroes, the TV yes. show, the forgotten TV show. And Andrew Koji is there too. I really liked him in the G.I. Joe movie Snake Eyes, even though the movie wasn't great, but I liked him. Sandra Bullock's in the movie? Fight, Fight coordinator, coordinator Kirk A. Jenkins. I don't know who that is. Best known for his work in Avengers Endgame, Black Panther, and Infinity War. Oh. Well, I know people who know him for sure, but I don't know him personally. I've never met Met Mert? I never Mert. He's obviously got a, a strong portfolio behind him. Fight coordinator on Bullet Train and Nobody. Oh, And okay. Nobody had some great fights. Yes. Knowing that he did Nobody actually has me super stoked because I love the fight scenes in Nobody. That's a... That's a reference I always forget to mention when people are asking me, like, what good fight scenes have you seen? And nobody actually has a lot of really yeah, good fight scenes. Yeah, nobody was great. Like and it's, it's super fun as well, because, you know, it's Bob Odenkirk and he's older. Speaking of older, uh, you know, I got to commend Brad Pitt for his movement here, because we have Tom Cruise, who's almost 60 years old, and he's still doing his thing. I forgot that he's and almost 60. Brad Pitt is also in his 50s, and he's moving like a, a guy who's half his age, you know? I, you just gotta now. Obviously, he's got millions and millions of dollars, so he can pay for the best doctors in the world and what have you. But none of that gets you past the fact that you're in your fifties. Yeah. And so, best diet, best doctors. You're still in your fifties, and that comes with its own caveats, no matter what. Biology and, don't and, lie. And him, and you can see it's him doing a lot of this action. I'm sure he's got some stunt doubles in here. That he, I mean, we saw it in the IMDb, but. He's doing a lot of his own action here, and that's super cool. Yeah. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Do let us know your feelings in the comments below. I am Jabby Kawe. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.